Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on statements and wages. Statements are usually sent out to customers once a month from their financial institutions. In simple terms, we can see the different deposits, the different withdrawals and the balance. The word deposit. This is the money that is put into the account at any given time. Withdrawal. This is the money that is taken out of the account at any given time. The balance. This is the amount that you currently have in your account. When you make deposits and withdrawals, the balance at any given time keeps changing. It is always kept up to date by your financial institution. Payslip. This is a piece of paper you receive from your current employer. It shows the gross amount you earn in a week, in a one week or two week period. The gross amount is the amount you earn is the amount you earn before tax is deducted. The net amount is the money you take home after tax has been deducted. The tax is collected by the government. Let's look at an example of a payslip from the employer. Now here we have a payslip for example for the 8th of May 2020. This is very basic but it gives you the idea what's involved. The name of the employee is Bob Smith. The gross wage is $360. That's the money that was earned before tax. The tax is $55 which is the money taken by the government. The net wage, which is the money you actually take home, is $305. A very basic payslip, but that gives you an idea. Statement for the 15th of May 2020. <clears throat> so, this statement tells you what's going on with your account, say in your bank, for example. Carried forward, that just means the amount that is presently in your account and it was carried forward from perhaps last month or from say four weeks ago or whatever. Carried forward means it's the latest, the most up-to-date amount from the past. On the 1st of May 2020 there was a deposit of $56. Therefore the amount is 843 plus 56 that gives you 899. On the 6th of May $40 was taken out. So 899 minus 40 gives you 859 and you just keep doing that all the way through. Whatever money is deposited you add it to the amount. Whatever money is withdrawn you subtract it. Let's look at some simple examples. A bank account has $785 in it. After a deposit of $63 is made, what is the new balance? The new balance will be $785 plus $63, which is $848. A bank account has $869 in it. After a withdrawal of $142 is made, what is the new balance? So the new balance is $869 minus $142 and that's $727. What is the net wage? If a gross wage of $486 is taxed an amount of $73. So the net wage, which is the money you take home, will be $486 minus 73, which is $413. So this video has looked at 
money in your bank account. It's looked, it's looked at statements that you might get. It's looked at pay slips. And basically, it's all about money in real life. Okay, going in or out of your bank account. It's basically everyday mathematics concerned with money. It's very important and you'll meet a lot of this stuff in your school career and certainly in your real life.